Bula, I'm Wame. Join me every weekday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on The Center Show with classic hits from the 70s as well as the 80s right here on Gold FM. In the news tonight, authorities close floating recreational business in Tabarua. Police increase presence on the streets this Diwali weekend. And diamond anniversary celebrations at Lamy School. Good evening, I'm Amrita Priyadarshni and you're with FPC News. First up, the Fijian economy is projected to expand by 3% higher than the previous forecast of 2.5%. The latest economic review of the Reserve Bank of Fiji State's growth for this year has been upgraded to 3.6% from the earlier projection of 3.2%. Real sector performances like sugar, electricity and timber production remain positive in the review period up to the month ending October. Consumption and investment indicators recorded buoyant performances. The central bank says given its twin objectives of low inflation and comfortable foreign reserves remained intact, the overnight policy rate was kept unchanged at 0.5% in October. A floating bar and restaurant known as Cloud 9, located near the famous Cloud Break surf spot in Nandi, has been shut down by authorities as of yesterday. Attorney General Ayaz Sayed Kayum has ordered the closure, stating that it has been operating illegally. Christopher Chant with this story. Less than five months after starting this unique business, Cloud9 has been shut down. We can confirm that police officers went to the site yesterday to close down its operations. In a government statement, Attorney General Ayaz Sayed Kayum says the recreational floating platform has been operating illegally. Sayed Kayum says they have violated the Surfing Areas Decree 2010 by conducting other activities like organized parties, serving alcohol, playing loud music in an advertised nightclub. He says the decree makes it clear that any commercial venture must be confined to surfing and other water sports. Cloud9 owner Tony Phillips says he will meet with his lawyers before he can issue a statement. About two months ago, men armed with cane knives from a nearby village allegedly cut off ropes which were holding the platform. They have since been charged. Sayed Kayum says Cloud9 presents a clear threat to a provision in the decree that protects the environment and its protection is paramount. So they cannot allow any activity which could be damaging or destructive to the area. He states cloud break and its marine environment need to be preserved along with other such areas in Fiji for future generations. Christopher Chant, FBC News. Prime Minister Vorenge Baini Marama is calling on people to work closely with government officials that serve in their provinces. Apisolome Doka reports. The Prime Minister took the time out to meet representatives of the Seruo province and their council members. It is your task to work closely with your provincial office and relate to them all development projects that are to be carried out, including those that are to be carried out next year. Bainimarama urged the Seruo Provincial Council to work with its people and identify their needs. I advise you to step up with the needs of the people in the province and submit it to the provincial administrator. But this will need to be brought through village and district meetings before making a decision to it during provincial council meetings. The government has spent close to $1 million on development projects in the Seruo province. <coughs> this year, the government funded six development projects in the Seruo province amounting to $800,000, not including funding development projects for schools within the province which was funded by my office. The Prime Minister says civil servants in the provinces are the ones providing services to the people and it is important for the people to work closely with them. Apisolome Doka, FBC News. 
Police officers will beef up their presence on the streets this long weekend as the Fiji police force targets an incident-free holiday. Mika Longa reports. From today, you can expect to see more police officers out on the street and road patrols as the police force rolls out its operation for the long weekend. All our officers who are based at our police headquarters uh, will be on the streets uh, this uh, long weekend uh, and also um, a portion of our police officers here from the uh, police response unit uh, will be deployed to the west. Police officers will also be working closely with officials of the Mineral Resources Department to monitor the sale of firecrackers. If uh, someone is caught selling uh, the fireworks uh, to the people uh, who are not uh, supposed to buy uh, uh, the fireworks or children under 18, uh, they'll be, surely they'll be taken to task. Uh, the, the company and also the parents. Police will also be on the lookout for bootleggers as well as outlets that have liquor licenses. I would like to make it clear, exclusive zones does uh, only cover uh, Suva and Nandi. Uh, in Suva, the exclusive zone in Suva is from the Suva market, that is Asa Street to Kanavan Street uh, at the FBC. And in Nandi, the, the exclusive zone is from uh, the McDonald's in uh, Nandi, right to Namaka Town. These are some of the areas uh, that has been gazetted by government that they can open till 5 a.m. in the morning. But for other uh, black markets that are claiming that uh, they have been given uh, with 24-hour uh, license, uh, from today, from the Fiji Police Force, there's no. Police will also keep a close eye on all picnic spots around the country, a proactive step to prevent further drowning. Mikalonga, FBC News. Maris Covenant School in Lamy is celebrating the achievement of a milestone, its diamond or 60th anniversary. Celebrations were held today with past and present students pledging to raise funds to develop the school. Apisolomedoka reports. This school was established by Maris sisters at Nukuatu in central Lamy in 1953 before it was moved to this location at Solomoni Street in 1955. Today, former students met to strengthen the association and fundraise for the school. Many who came to school still had fond memories of their days at Maris Convent. I see that the standard of the school has uh, really changed. We started off the school at Nukuatu in 1953 before moving here in 1955. At that time, there was a lot of forest and only one school block. Today, the school has really changed and was so happy to meet a few of my classmates at these celebrations. I started at the school in 1960 to 1968. At that time, there was no sister's uh, quarters, no basement like we see today. Our principal was uh, Sister Josephine and my favorite uh, teacher, Sister Fabian from Ireland. I will never forget Sister Fabian because uh, she always uh, teaches us how to sing and I still remember some songs that she taught us. The major achievements for the school has been the education of uh, children uh, here in Lamy and uh, neighboring villages as far as uh, Kalokolewu and Nambukavesi in the early years. Um, and um, this school provided that education for them. Naisara says she was happy to see the large number of ex students that attended the celebrations. Turnout has been overwhelming, overwhelming support from yesterday. We had uh, celebrations with the school to present students and staff, parents and guardians of the school. And uh, today is the uh, actual day that we meet as ex students. Money collected will be used to fund the extension of the school office. The current site has remained there since its first days more than 50 years ago. Celebrations will end tomorrow with a Thanksgiving Mass. Apisolome Dhoka, FBC News. Coming up, popular TV series start to tour Fiji. I wonder what you are. Oh, you could spend it like this. Tune in to The Morning Ride every weekday morning from 9 a.m. till 12 p.m. right here on Today FM, Today's Seat Music.
Nisa mbulo binaka, oya wane kama na langi, oni nandoro ngozi yao, maina ziwa kina ruwe na visinga, maina mwoni tikina bonga rumbu, kaina radio fiji wana ndomo ibiti bonga ni biya nyanu. Na mwa katale ngana vienga ono sasi biya ni, na tina nakaloko na biimbongi ni buke lulu. Kena vima mama ni walu na biimbongi ni baka rowai, maina mbuza ni walu, ninge ina maka. Welcome back, you're with FBC News. A 37-year-old father of two children who raped and indecently assaulted two other children has been sentenced to 15 years and two months imprisonment. The labourer from Lotoka indecently assaulted his wife's relatives, aged four and six years respectively, as well as raped the six-year-old in Bar. The attacks on the children took place on New Year's Day last year. Judge Sudarshna De Silva said the accused had traumatized the life of the victims and he showed no remorse for his actions and no repentance. The accused will not be eligible for parole until he has served 13 years of imprisonment. Adolescent mothers comprise 10% of all pregnancies in the country. Health Minister Dr. Neil Sharma says they have found some of the factors that lead to adolescent pregnancy in Fiji. This includes gender inequality and violence against women. Dr. Sharma says the health ministry is trying its best to overcome this issue. Sharon Lata with more. A total of 328 adolescent pregnancy cases were recorded at the Lautoka Hospital in 2010. 70 of them were girls between the ages 15 to 17 years. Laws are being or have been formulated or are being updated to support this intention. And as you all know, the Domestic Violence Decree 2009, the Criminal Procedures Decree 2009, the Crimes Decree 2009, Suspending, Sentencing and Penalty Decree 2009, the Child Welfare Decree 2010, and the Employment Regulation, uh, Relation Promulgation 2007. The Health Ministry has also invested resources in addressing issues faced by the youths for the past five years through its peer educators in all the 19 medical subdivisions. It is also working with the Education Ministry to integrate education on adolescent reproductive health into the school curriculum. The Ministry's Facebook account targets 15 to 29 year olds and it contains messages on pregnancy, use of contraception, transmission of tra sexually transmitted diseases, amongst uh, other things which includes mental health. The government is trying to address such issues. However, this would be useless if members of the society do not play their part. We blame society, but we are the society. I appeal to the social capital in you and I that provides the care and love for all these people, all our people. Just as you eventually accept an unplanned adolescent pregnancy and care and nurture the baby communally, could you not extend this to the girl child? Dr. Sharma made the comments at the launch of the 2013 State of World Population Report, Motherhood in Childhood, facing the challenge of adolescent pregnancy in Suva yesterday. Sharin Lata, FBC News. The Education Ministry has received new IT equipment from the Access to Quality Education Program, an Australian initiative. The equipment, consisting of four servers worth 80,000 Fijian dollars, is intended to help run the Fiji Education Information Management System, or FEMIS. Neelam Raj reports. FEMIS is a web-based application combining information on schools, students and staff into a single online portal for use by education officials, teachers and students. The new IT will boost the education system as students will be able to assess study resources online, reducing paperwork and using teaching resources more efficiently. With this new service supporting fingers, the schools will now have an immediate online access to information on staff, and students, infrastructure, finances and examination results. The Access to Quality Education program funded by OZAID received the servers, which have been handed over to the Education Ministry. FEMIS has the potential to be one of the best, not in the region, but in the world. Being web-based, it will become a one-shop stop, providing all relevant information for various levels of users. Launched in February, 
FEMIS has information on over 10,000 staff, 900 schools and 100,000 literacy and numeracy assessment results. While presenting the equipment to the Ministry, Miles voiced the Australian government's continued commitment in contributing to a quality education for Fijian students. Neelam Raj, FBC News. If someone said Suhasi Dhami, the name would probably not ring a bell. However, if they said Abha, you will probably get a quick rundown of the latest episode of the popular television series Yaha Me Ghar Ghar Kheli, which is broadcast on FBC TV. The good news for fans is that Dhami will perform eight shows in the country next month with Bollywood comedian Jimmy Moses. In an interview with our radio stations, Dhami said she always wanted to come to Fiji and preparations for the event are well underway. There is a lot of interest uh, shown in Fiji in all ethnics, um, Indians, Fijians, even some Chinese. Uh, I have been uh, doing some surveys and I have seen that a lot of people are really interested uh, to see her, to meet her, greet her. And this is a, a golden opportunity for uh, the public of Fiji. FPC will support the concert as a media partner. Coming up in sports, Women's Sevens Tournament off to a good start. Bola, oya wa sala bilawa. Dova te kiau mena diwa kina tini karuna kaloko na sina lebo ni moni tiki na varumbuka. Kako ni valata na no musu ni sarisari. Na kai samurian dolo loma leo ni wani ni nau. Ongori ke de mena diwa kina tini karuna kaloko na sina lebo ni moni tiki na varumbuka. Ena bola FM number two en sere. जहाँ हो प्यार का बसेरा और रिश्तों की खुशबू वो है आपका अपना घर संसार ज्वाइन मी ऑन घर संसार मंडे टू फ्राइडे नाइन एम टू ट्वेल्व पी एम ओनली ऑन रेडियो फीजी टू Nothing is impossible is the saying that's got the Vodafone Fiji Mbati sites psyched up and rearing to take on Australia in their second Rugby League World Cup match in England tomorrow. The latest tweet from skipper Petero Divonideva is that they know the road ahead will be very challenging, but they have a game plan that counter-attacks the kangaroos' approach. Elena McDonald has more. Was a mix of fitness. Punters are backing Australia to beat the Vodafone Fiji Mbati by 28 points tomorrow. Many have termed this clash as the professionals versus volunteers, but the fact is it'll all come down to who brings their A-game from kickoff. They will come in place, uh, smart play the ball area, and uh, using their, uh, their both left and right edges, uh, uh, you see in the game against uh, Ireland, they were using uh, the, uh, the, the left edges a lot. I think so if there's one area they will uh, uh, try and... Uh, uh, and a pick us on instead will be on the edges. Fiji will have to improve their performance against Ireland threefold when taking on the Kangaroos. And while the Aussies are a star studded outfit, so too is the Bati. With the World Cup, the likes of Aku, Sisrawanga, and Kevin. Uh, one of the factors uh, that we could uh, control those eyeballs was because of the weather. Uh, but uh, there is something they keep, have to keep working on. And hopefully uh, we'll come out uh, good on the, on the second as we play Australia. So who will it be? The former world champs or the proud Mbati outfit? Guess we'll just have to wait and see when the full-time whistle is blown tomorrow. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports. At the Cathedral School grounds in Lothala Bay, Suva today, women's rugby turned a new leaf. A record 16 teams from around the country showed up to compete in their first ever regional women's sevens tournament. With strong support from the Fiji Rugby Union's development unit, today's awesome turnout shows the sport is being accepted more than it was a decade ago. Elena McDonald reports. Fijiana is a brand that's fast becoming popular among more young female Fiji athletes. Today, Teams from Bua, Lambasa, Naitasiri, Ra, and even Lotoka were represented at the regional tournament. We're really excited to see them because uh, we're just used to the five teams in Suba. And seeing them here, it's like a, a big boost for us, seeing that uh, there are other women's teams around Fiji. 
While newer than most, the tournament gave many the chance to rub shoulders with Fijiana reps playing for their respective clubs. It's a kind of a sort of things uh, we used to take in the village. Yeah? This is, uh, we all, only take, uh, the men's only play rugby, women's only play netball, but this is, uh, they, this time they were in the shop that they are in the rugby field. Uh, this is the first time for them to enter this field. Eh? Today's success has also prompted the Fiji Women's Rugby Union to seek assistance from the Fiji Sports Commission. To getting uh, competitions going and involving maybe teams from Shuva can go down or them coming in. The wheels of change have been set in motion with today's event and if the momentum is maintained, 2016 Games preparations for Fijiana will be immensely successful. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports. Not so good news for netball's Fiji Pearls tonight. Our Pacific Queens handed Malawi their first win on tour. Fiji lost 62-45 in Suva today in a match riddled with errors by the hosts as Malawi dominated play throughout the four quarters. The next and final test match is on Monday. And the last but not the least in sports tonight, a friendly reminder to all football lovers. Be sure to tune in to FPC TV for the latest English Premier League matches. Fulham takes on Manchester United at 4 a.m., followed by Arsenal taking on Liverpool at 6.30 a.m. tomorrow. Wonderful weather experienced in all major centres today. Apart from the heat and busy shopping streets, it was a good day to hit the beach or catch up on chores. Now looking at the temperature, Suva, Nandi and Ba reported a temperature of 33 degrees. Lombasa and Savu Savu followed behind at 32 and 30 degrees respectively. Results could not be obtained for Lotoka. Now for tomorrow, it's Diwali tomorrow. The weather is in favour of all centres except for Suva. The forecast is for showers in the morning and evening. Nandi, Lotoka, Mba, Savu Savu and Lambasa is forecast for fine weather during the day, but brief showers in the evening. The further outlook, easterly winds 10 to 15 knots, moderate seas. And the main points again, the economy is projected to expand by 3% higher than the previous forecast of 2.5%. Cloud 9, a recreational floating island located near the famous Cloud Break surf spot in Nandi, has been shut down by authorities. A 37-year-old father of two children who raped and indecently assaulted two other children has been sentenced to 15 years and two months imprisonment. To the poll question now. And we ask, should taxes for alcohol and cigarettes be increased in the 2014 budget? Visit www.fpc.com.fj to take part. Remember to send us newsworthy pictures and videos. Email citizensice at fpc.com.fj. We will be back tomorrow. Until then, good night. Aapki shadi hone wali hai. Paanch paanch bachche honge. Paanch paanch. Paanch paanch. Hi, I'm Aki Sahili Venu. Listen to me, I'm here at 9 to 12 o'clock.